now move on into the middleweight division between Kung Lee and Tony the Freak Frickland. Kung Lee made the transition from San Shu and thus far in his mixed martial arts career has been undefeated. Tony Frickland looking to change things. Tony Frickland, middleweight, Las Vegas, Nevada. And what makes a good MMA fighter is how you tie things together. My seamless transitions and my seamless translation of the art is what's going to make the difference in this fight. The, the weapons I choose to train in are meant to do damage. Now, a lot of what we see in Kung's game is he exploits people that, that don't have the ability to understand what he's doing. I do spinning back kicks. I throw spinning wheel kicks. Don't, don't use my stuff on me. It's not going to work. I'm looking two or three steps ahead. If I can get there, the fight's over. Well, there he is, a veteran of the sport in the world of mixed martial arts today, Tony the Freak Frickland. A UFC veteran, he's fought the likes of Ivan Salaberry, Matt Linlin, the list goes on. Most of his wins come by a way of submission, also knockout, so you know this guy is a well-rounded fighter, which poses a huge threat on Kung Lee. Kung Lee has got great stand-up skills for many years fighting in Sanchu rules. You know he's a legend in the world of Sanchu, but tonight it's a little different when it comes to the world of mixed martial arts. And I think if Tony Fricklin wants to have an advantage over this fight, I believe he will need to take this to the ground. So Tony the Freak Fricklin set to take on San Shu legend Kung Lee. And remember, later on tonight, the legend Frank Shamrock takes on the New York badass Phil Baroni. All words aside, it's all about business here tonight. Middleweight, San Jose, California. I'm a seasoned fighter, and I know how to stay poised, and I'm gonna be patient. You gotta kick me out of the gym. So I have to do everything from stand up, to the ground, to escape, to being on top. Well, I'm a stand up fighter, I prefer knockout. Tony comes forward, he likes to brawl. He's gonna walk right into a whole bunch of crazy moves, punches, kicks, spin kicks. What makes me a good MMA fighter? I wanna keep learning. Everything that I can learn, I wanna learn. For me, I'll always be the student of the game. Well, Kung Lee has the home court advantage here tonight in San Jose, California. You can hear the crowd going crazy. They love Kung Lee. For many years, Kung Lee fought under Sanchu rules, so he's no stranger when it comes to sports combat. And uh, he's also fought in K1. And look for those flashy kicks. They're flashy kicks that you and I would never think that would work in the world of mixed martial arts. But for some reason, Kung Lee is able to pull off these flashy kicks that you only see in Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. But they work. It is so amazing. He uses his feet as if they're like his hands. It's just amazing the preciseness that he has in his feet and his striking skills. And a lot of people are kind of questioning the ground game of Kung Lee here tonight. And like I said, it could be a factor for him getting taken down by Tony the Freak Frickland. Will Tony stand with Kung Lee as Kung Lee takes on Tony the Freak Frickland? Both fighters identical in the height department. A pound and a half weight difference between these two fighters. Kung Lee looking to utilize his sand shoe skills against the freestyle skills Tony Frickland possesses here tonight. This tale of the tape has been brought to you in part by Rockstar Energy Drinks. All right, fans, introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, standing 5 feet 10 inches, he weighed in at 177 and one half pounds. He is a freestyle fighter with a record of 14 wins and eight losses, with six knockouts and eight submissions to his credit, hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada, introducing Tony the Freak Fricklin. 
and his opponent across the ring on my right fighting out of the red corner standing five feet ten inches he weighed in at 179 pounds trained in the disciplines of sancho kickboxing and wrestling he is undefeated in his mma campaign with a record of three wins no losses all three wins coming by way of knockout ladies and gentlemen here is the u.s the north american and the world Sancho champion, the undefeated MMA sensation from San Jose, California, introducing Kong Lee. Once again, a referee in charge of the bout, Herb Dean, now to give instructions. Gentlemen, we've gone over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions at all times. We're gonna keep the fight clean. Touch gloves, come out ready to do this. Guys, I gotta tell you, here in San Jose, Kung Lee is as popular as Bruce Lee ever was. And I'm saying something, this is amazing. And the reception this guy receives here tonight. It is electric from each fight that goes. Yeah, it's, it's, this crowd gets more into it because it's one of their own out there battling. And Tony the Freak Fricklin looking to get freaky in an MMA sense, the two touch gloves, and just listen to this crowd, would you? The great thing about Kung Lee also is he will not just try and win it, but he'll try and win it in spectacular fashion. He puts on a show. He puts the O in ostentatious, my friend. And look at these kicks. I mean, they are just like a work of art. And there is an axe kick. And Fricklin looking to capitalize. Axe kick is not smart in this sport, though, especially when you go against a takedown artist. And Tony Fricklin's wrestling is pretty decent. Look at these body kicks, head kicks. Let's not forget Kung Lee uh, did some wrestling in high school there, so uh, it's, and it's not as if for wrestling. Yeah, absolutely. But I tell you what, guys, Tony Fricklin does not want to stand here like this and get into a Sanchao matcher. He wants to take down Kung Lee and try and force some ground and pound. We have not seen anybody ground and pound Kung Lee ever. Ooh. There's a nice right hand by Kung Lee, a kick back by Fricklin. Fricklin staying in the pocket, trying to... You know, I mean, that's got to play a big role when he hears the reception that the crowd gives his opponent. I don't care who you are, you can say you try to mentally block it out. But that's one area where Fricklin admittedly has told us he's had problems is with the mental game lately. No question. When you cut a guy in front of you, so, uh, such a dynamic fighter like Kung Lee. And guys, i got to tell you, I have never seen anybody throw techniques like this in the ring. Well, I, was, I, I don't understand why Tony Fricklin's standing there unless it's just an ego 